Hello, everybody. So I'm thinking about something that I read. Um, I told you I read with the church. And so in the Office of Readings yesterday, and I'm still thinking about it, there was something really a kind of amazing description of Eucharist. So yesterday's reading was a sermon from St. Peter Chrysologus. Chrysologus means golden tongue, I guess. Known for his preaching and all of that, sad that only a handful of his writings have remained, and this is one of them. So in this homily, he talks about the priesthood of the believer. He talks about a variety of things, and if I continue on this way, I won't do him justice. What I want to do is talk about the way he has distilled the sacrifice that Jesus has done on the cross for you and me. So we know that every time we go to Mass, what Jesus did on the cross happens on the altar in front of you and me. That is what Eucharist is. And so, in the words of St. Peter Chrysologus, so we don't mix up who I'm talking about, but in the words of St. Peter, he says this. Let me find, I thought I had it pulled up. Think about Eucharist. Think about what Jesus did on the cross. This is what he says about Eucharist. Truly, it's an amazing sacrifice in which a body is offered without being slain and blood is offered without being shed. So I remind us what Jesus did on the cross, he did once and for all of us. That's what Jesus did when he ransomed us by what he suffered on the cross. Once and for all. And that once and for all sacrifice is Eucharist. So every time our priests consecrate the bread and the wine. Jesus becomes present and the sacrifice that he did once and for all of us becomes present again. Knowing that, we should go to Mass as often as we can. Thanks be to God for what God has done for us. He has ransomed us. The price he paid was a heavy but willing price that he paid for you and me. So go to Eucharist, go to Mass, receive communion, be a follower of Jesus Christ. Have a good rest of today. We're kind of midweek. Today is Wednesday. And we're aiming for the weekend. So remember that we're celebrating the Easter season. Share your faith. And I'll see you at Masses this weekend. God bless you.